Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning, frosty morning, and welcome back to fishing. So I'm assuming that if this is happening right now and you're watching this, this is part two of my early no mid-November uh, Salmon River run. So I'm up here uh, with Matt and Mike. We're driving up to the Salmon River. They're in front of me. And we're gonna be fishing the, the private section again, the, the Douglaston area, uh, and hopefully get on some action. The last time we went, uh, I didn't do so well. Uh, maybe have like one hit. It was tough, the water flow was high, and it's probably gonna be high again today. We're about to get some fishing accomplished. Okay, so sorry for that freezing of the intro. I know you're devastated to not hear everything I had to say. Uh, but yeah, this is part two of the long-awaited I'm sure uh, Sam River autumn trip. Uh, I decided to space these out. Uh, this was day two again, fishing with Matt and Mike, and the first day I got completely skunked. On this day I went in with very low expectations as I knew fishing would be tough, and it definitely was a grind, but uh, well, you'll see what happens. It did pay off. So without further ado, here is a rundown of the day. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't have a good angle. I mean, it's been, ha these sacks, I don't know if it's the current, they've been kind of busting up easily anyways for me. So I don't know, it's hard to say. Mike is on. He just in time for me to put the new battery in the camera too. It'll be a big brown, who knows? Feel it? <laughs> a king. Maybe a brown. <laughs> I know, I just hope it's not a king. What was it on? Bead or sack? Bead. Oh, it's a must brown. Quite like one. Just digging down, Mike? It's not going nuts like a steelhead typically would. Oh! You even get a look at it? No color? Dang. All right, well, at least there's some hope. All right, well, Mike just lost a slaunch. So we switched to a bead, because that's what he was fishing. I might have had a hit in the same area. Let's see if we can get on some fish now. There he goes. Oh, there's a guy right here. Hmm. That's not huh? He saw us coming. So we ended up going all over this stretch of the river, and if I haven't mentioned it, uh, for you to watch the previous part of this video, uh, the first part, this is the private section of the river. Again, Matt and Mike were kind enough to let me get a guest pass for the day. But uh, we went all over. And it was a really nice day, but the bite was definitely spotty. We had some action, a few hits between the three of us, but it seemed like the only thing we could really get into were smaller hits. So uh, here's a snapshot of that. I'll be right here. Practically just ra reach out and grab them. <laughs> got, this, got this spot on lock. Mike's on a little guy. Right here. Yeah, there he goes. Okay, so we did a lot of hiking around the river. 
Um, we got a few strikes that I didn't get on camera. I did get on camera, but the footage got glitchy. This was like the first really somewhat cold day I fished this fall, and I wasn't used to maintaining and staying on top of the batteries like I usually do. But um, it was getting towards the end of the day, and I, drive, and I had to drive back to the city, which was a bit of a trip, and I had to work the next day. So, yeah, I was getting exhausted and hungry and all that stuff, and I was really so close to calling it and saying that's a wrap, uh, but thank goodness I didn't, and I think I was literally to the point where I said only like two more minutes, and then this happened. Yeah. Oh, oh my God! Just says about to. Oh, he's on there. He's on there. He's on there. Oh my God! I was about to call it right there, folks. Get that net. It's not big, but I need a fish. I need a fish. I can go home happy. Oh, he's fighting now. He's fighting now. Oh my God! It looked hopeless, boys. It looked hopeless. But when, as they say, oh man, that's a nice fish. Holy crap. What the heck was that, boys? I was, that's a really nice fish. Coming towards you, Mike. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I thought he was like a 15 incher when I first got him. All right, this isn't looking good. Where to steer him? Where? Which way? Steer him this way or this? Right here, guys, right here. Right here, right here. I can't see that rock you're talking about, so I don't know what I'm steering away from. Lift. Come on, come on, come on. It's 
coming in, he's coming in, he's coming in. He's coming in. Right here, right here, right here. Here he is, here he comes, here he comes. Is there another one next to him? Behind you? Oh, behind you. Oh, God. Here he comes, here he comes. He's coming back. He's coming back. Right there, right. There he is, head first, head first, head first. Dude. Oh, he's. Nice job. <laughs> That's awesome. Really easy 10, easy 10, right? That's probably oh, 11, yeah. 12. Oh, uh, we got to measure this one. Yep. All right, let me make sure I'm running. Big fish, man. Dude, that's, a P that's my PB. No doubt. Big mouth. Easy. We got to measure him against that net. Let me see that pop that fish. You know? While he's in position here, let me see what he gets quick on. I thought I had it. In the net? Well, I, it, it, the hook's out. He just thrashed, so. Hold on. There it is. That's a big, big fish. Nice fish. Probably nicest fish of the year. That we've been around. All really right. Nice. Get that glove. Yep. What's that? I thought, I, you heard me say, like, it's a, it's a. I, I thought you were serious. I, no, I, I was serious. I thought it was, like, tiny. Thing was, like, it was coming right in. I was like, man, that's a good one. Oh my god. You gotta get your use your use your hand out on the tail. That's what you want. Oh, yeah. yeah, because you know, this the this fish will get away from you. Video of you too? Yeah. You wanna take my uh camera off my head or whatever? I'm running. <laughs> Alright folks. Come right up in that thing. Right up. Elevatorize that fish. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Great fish. They made it worth it, folks. That's the trip right there. Hold them in. Hold them right up. One more thing. Angle it towards me, too. There you go. This is your full fix right here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Let's, nice. hold, let's hold them up the net. If you bring the net over, it's going to get an inches measurement. For the record, he is pushing 30. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. He's. he's He's over 30. Oh yeah. 31. 31. All right. You can just keep that rolling. We're going to let him go. Oh man. Now we got a five hour drive home folks, but it was worth it. Thanks to these guys. This way. <laughs> he did not want any part of that. <laughs> oh, man, that awesome. Folks, job. mission awesome accomplished. Job. Awesome <laughs> job, Dan. Awesome job, guys. One thing I didn't mention, uh, and this is after getting that fish, I was pretty much done. Um, the river water level was up tremendously this particular weekend, both this video and the one before it. I can't tell you exactly what it was, but it was it was ripping. And I will say, if you're ever going to do something like this, either in the public or private section of the river, uh, definitely make sure you have the right footwear. Otherwise, uh, you could get very wet, and it's honestly dangerous. So make sure you have some good corkers. And I definitely... I'm happy that I upgraded my corkers for this session. Made a huge difference. Uh, but yeah, let's just take a look at that uh, as we close up the video. Are you getting a little nervous? What's that? Are you getting a little nervous? No, because I had you as a canary. <laughs> All right, so that's going to do for this video. That was a, a very tough trip, but uh, I'm not going to, don't take it from me. I don't know what I'm doing. What do you think, guys? How'd it go this weekend? Went, went real well. I had a lot of fun with you. Um, <laughs> caught some fish and. Uh, just a good time. Nice Big day. grind over two days, Dan. The last light of the day, you, yeah. uh, you got one. So it's yeah. good you redeemed yourself. Two minutes away from giving up. I legitimately think I said it on the clip. Two minutes and I'm done. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I got them, I mean, I don't know. Exactly. I mean, I'm a total noob. So whatever. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, definitely more stuff to come soon. I'll definitely come back here uh, probably in December. So thank you for watching as always. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. You know the drill. I'll catch you all later in the water. And of course, goodbye from fishing.